belt, the three-time former world champion and former Olympic champion, Caroline Nabarin. So one more match to come, and it's another men's singles. Our 12th match of the day here on day one of competition, and it's the number 14 seed Sai Pranith Parmidi Party up against Mark Kalyo from the Netherlands. Well, as far as Sai Pranith is concerned, well, he at the last World Championships became only the second player from India to medal in the men's singles discipline, following on from Prakash Patyakorn in 1983. This section of the draw, as you briefly saw, uh, right at the bottom of the top half of the draw. And Kali Kalyuninen of Finland awaits the winner of this match. So this will be a second meeting between these two players. The first time they met was in the group stage of the Olympic Games earlier this year. And despite the fact that Sai Pranith was seeded at the Olympics, he was the number 13 seed. He finished right, bottom we have of the group, red or black. Would losing like to, to Mark Kalyan. Red for you. In two straight games, red 14 and 14 that in side? 39 so minutes. Serving, okay. So wonderful to see Mark Kalyul back because in early September he had heart surgery and tachycardia which is abnormally high heart rate and had to have surgery to try and fix it. He's played one tournament since uh, but in the first game of his first match back uh, retired. He really wasn't fit to be playing. But let's look first of all at the number 14 seed, Sai Pranith Bamidi Pate, 29 years of age, born in Hyderabad in Andhra Pradesh, and currently number 16 in the world ranking, but did spend a total of six weeks at number 10 across two different spells. This is his fourth world championship, and as I was telling you he was bronze medalist at the last world championships in Basel in Switzerland lost out to Kento Momota the eventual gold medalist in the semi-final stage having beaten Anthony Ginting and Jonathan Christie on his way through to that semi-final. Mark Kalyol will turn 27 next month born in Reiswijk in southwest Netherlands and he was a silver medalist at the European Junior Championships of 2013. This is his fourth consecutive World Championship. And the best that he has done is one second round appearance. That was in Glasgow in 2017. One World Tour Tournament final for Mark Kalyok. And that was the US Super 300 event of 2018. Fabio Beto of Italy is Ready to play. our umpire for this one. Iris Metzbelu of Estonia is the service judge. So it was nice to see Sai Pranith doing well in Indonesia at the Indonesia Super 1000 event. He reached the quarter-final stage, lost out to the eventual champion, Victor Axelsson. Uh, but he really struggled in the Olympics, did this man. Said that all his training had been going well. He had struggled with a bit of a bad back before Tokyo, uh, but it wasn't the back injury that was the problem. He said that he really suffered from the pressure being the only men's singles qualifier he felt he had to deliver and he was seeded and he allowed the pressure to get to him ladies and gentlemen on my right B Sai Pranit India and on my left Mark Kaliao Netherlands 
Beside Pranit to serve. Love all. Play. So the bronze medalist from the last World Championship, Sai Praneeth, the number 14 seed this time here in Welva. Nearest to us, this first round encounter against Mark Kalyo of the Netherlands. What? Love. Well, as far as the Dutch player is concerned, his big results or most notable, I suppose, result was him reaching the semi-final of the All England Championships earlier this year. Lost out to Li Zijia, who went on to win the coveted All England title. Service over, one, all. And as far as Kalyo was concerned, in reaching the All England semi-final, became the first player from his country ever to reach a semi-final of the men's singles discipline at the All England Championship. So he created his own little bit of history, a new record. That's always very special for a player. No doubting the lovely skills and shot production of Sai Praneeth. What I think I could. Oh. Now, why was a fault called? I think the umpire Three. called a fault. I don't Four. understand that. Oh, he touched the net. That's a great spot. Well done, umpire. Do beg your pardon. Touched the net with his racket when trying to scamper back in court. Mm, dear. It's over. Five, three. Patience. Service over four, five. Oh. Oh. Five, all. Oh. Worker on court, isn't he? Kelly up. 
physically very strong athlete. And rallies like Six. that will hurt Cyprenith. Longest rally so far. Cyprenith was one of eight former medalists at World Championships in the men's singles draw when the draw was done. Uh, we've since lost the two-time defending champion Kento Momota had to go home from Indonesia with a bad back. Net shot off the net shot. Missed it. Eight five. This is five straight points for Mark Calio. comes to an end. So we saw about six, eight. This is Eight, an, an intriguing start to this first round men's singles match. Nine, eight. Obvious look of disappointment from Kelly Oak. Yeah, that was good deception from Cyprenith. A little hold and flick from the front of the court. So we saw about 10, 9. Push from Mark Ballyhall was 
far too flat and far too short. So it's a two point advantage for the bronze medalist from the last World Championships, Saifreni. Yeah, look at that. It's just popped it up into the hitting zone of Saifreni. Yeah, he knows it. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Enfrente, aquí, muy bien. Coach, return to your chairs. Eleven nine. Fly. Oh, slanted in. Sai Pranith didn't get himself in position. He was so confident it was going to land out. Well, that's really a very naive thing to do there. Players should get themselves into position should they change their minds and decide they need to hit the shuttle. Service over 12-10. Well, I was checking the record books earlier today to try and find out the best performance by a player from the Netherlands in the men's singles discipline at the World Championships. And I believe uh, that the best was Eric Pang in Copenhagen 10. in 2014 when he reached the quarter-final stage. And I think it'll be a tall order for Mark Callio to replicate that here in Welva, considering the problems he's had of late. Good to see him back and playing well for Because at the French Open, in the first round, he lost to Encar Long. He was 16-3 down when he decided that he really needed to retire after his heart surgery. Hey. So it's over 11-14. Oh, yes. Service over. Good placement 50, of that 11. attacking shot from Sai Praneeth. On the Singapore Super Series, this man, back in 2017, beat his teammate, the man we just watched, Kedambi Shrikanth, in the final in Singapore, those four years ago. Service over 12, 15. Oh, yes. Yeah. Those are the Service skills over. and the deception 16, that 12. really define Sai Praneeth's game. Now, well, quite a discussion going on between Sai Praneeth and his coach, Park Te Sang.
16 to 12. Seventeen, twelve. It's got a very low centre of gravity, and uh, Smart Callio when he's defending. Gives him a very good chance, or a much better chance, to retrieve the shuttle. Very difficult if you're too upright in your stance. Service over, 13, 17. Oh, string's gone, I think. Ah. Mark Kelly's racket. Service over. 18 Oh, that's brilliant. What a shot from Mark Calio. Service over, 14, 18, yes. Well, the court needing to be mopped again, the perspiration left on the court surface after the dive can make the court very slippery and we 14, don't want any injuries. Eight. Service over, 19. 14. Oh, that's landed in. Oh, it's challenging. He's going to challenge that. Good call, Service line judge. 15-19. Mm. Flat. Maybe just wanted a bit of a breather. Oh, oh. that's a terrific smash again from Mark Callio. 16-19. Just two points in it now. 17, 19.
Uh, that's a good angle so on the smash again from side beneath. Game point, 17. And that lovely angle has earned him three game point opportunities. It's going wide. Opening game, 21-17 in favour of the bronze medalists well, from the last Saint World Bernice, Championships. Sai Pranith Barmidi Party. Opening game in 21 minutes. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Well, Second game, a very good opening game. Love all some good Bye. skills, good rallies. But Sai Pranith coming through against Mark Galliel in that opening game, 21-17. Oh, that's a super angle again from Sai what? Pranith. Look, what there? Not only won a bronze medal at the last World Championships, he'd actually won a bronze yep. medal at the World Junior Championships at Sai Pranith. World Junior Championships of 2010 in Guadalajara. Lost out to Victor Axelson, who took gold as a 16-year-old in those World Junior Championships. Oh. Oh. Service over. One. Oh. Shot. Good lift from there as well from Calio. Oh, a terrific net shot from his opponent. That was a magnificent lift. That one. Right to the back of the court. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. He's just a, adjusting. He's got a heart monitor on. That an awful lot of athletes use. It's a strap round the, the chest. And I should think it's more important than ever for Mark Calio to have that device, just oh. making sure that all's well. So we saw about two all. Oh.
Oh, oh yes. Well, that's oh. three or four now that Mark Calio has used that so cross court three, smash from the two. round the head position to play an outright winner. Goodness me. How did he keep that coming back? Calio. Incredible defence initially. Three. Oh. And Three. push straight down the line. It's a terrific follow up, though, isn't it? Look at this. Obvious shot was cross court, kept it straight down the line. Brilliant. feeling that Mark Calio is beginning to frustrate Cy Pernice with the amount of shuttles he's getting back. Not only frustrate him, I think he's beginning to tire too, Cy yes. But what I'm not sure of is the fitness levels of Cal Calio after his heart surgery. And whether he'll be able to keep this going, right. that I don't know. Oh, that's a shocker. What a terrible serve from Kalia. How on earth did he get away with that? Servisova, four, seven. Thank you. Well, once again, quite a conversation going on between Cyprinith and 
Park Tae Sung, his coach. It's all perfectly legal. You're allowed to do that in yep. between rallies. Four, seven. Good rally from Mark Powell. Toby Silver, eight. Uh, he's taking four. on board some big gulps of air. Well, it's looking very much at the moment as if we might well have a third and deciding game. Yeah, he's done it again. That's five now, I think. Uh, cross court smash winner from the round the head position from Kelly. Oh, it's a brilliant shot, there's no doubt about it. Seven point advantage. Moet gewoon op letten op die pushes van hem. Ja. Dat is de enige manier als hij scoort. Is omdat hij snel pusht. En dan kom ik of met de halve op en dan kan hij smash of hij heeft. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Voor je rekken voeren, ook als je hem iets meer into the court speelt, hè? voor je rekken iets hoog houden, dat die vlakke bal je eruit kan halen. Okay. Oh, Grip powder on the racket handle. 11 Just four. makes the handle a little bit tacky, Light. so that the players can change their grip a little easier without the... Uh, the fingers slipping on the towel and grip. Oh, that's a beauty. What a lovely shot so from Cyprony. Five, eleven. Address the shuttle early. Seven silver. Twelve. Five. Watch as he comes forward. Racket arm outstretched. Came from above the shuttle. Then he's got so many options. Chose to play it across court.
Service over 612. Silver thirteen six. He certainly seems to have Six. more spring in his movement and more patience as well than Sai Pranith. And it's a very handsome lead. Eight point advantage. Yeah. You see, now that just exemplifies what I've just been talking 15. about. Sai Pranith Six. doesn't have the patience there. The likelihood of playing a winner from this shot was fairly remote. Yeah. Needed to help manoeuvre yeah. his opponent first, really. I know his first attacking shot was pretty good, and Kelvio had sort of half dived, but. Cyprinith perhaps going too much for the lines, I don't know, but. You certainly can't afford errors like that, or like 16, that. Six. Now, is it tiredness, or is it lack of patience? Don't know. Ten point advantage now for Mark Kellyor. Yep, I think Sai Pranith has now 17, given up on this second six. game. is the most wonderful 18, angle. Six. It stopped running her side beneath. There. Yeah. Nineteen six. Heading for a third and decided game, no question of that. Service over seven nineteen. Service over twenty game point seven. So a whole host of game point opportunities for Mark Kelly to level this first round match at one game apiece. Game. game all. Well, that was tame from Second Sai game Pranith. Second game by Mark Kalyao, 21-7. 21-7 confirms the umpire. 39 minutes. And one game apiece. Okay, 
That was interesting. Let's go. That was in English. We had a clear shot of the heart monitor that Mark Collier wears. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Final game. Love all. Play. So third and deciding game. Mark Calio. Having taken that second game against Sai Karanith. Would appear to be on the ascendancy. Oh my goodness, that's a good defensive shot. And it's all a question in my One. mind about Love. whether Sai Karanith has got the stamina and the patience. Because we know he's got some wonderful shots. Seem to be hesitation there from Mark Elliot. Service over, one, three. Mm. Yeah. Service over, four, one. Good return of serve. Landed in. Always challenging. Any challenges called in. Wow. Challenge unsuccessful. One line judge. Challenge remaining. Service over. Two. Four, fly. Yeah, different pace now from side beneath that second game. He's played so many winners with that cross court smash. Sony Silver, five. And that one just two. a little overdone. Yeah, it was slightly off balance when he played that. I suspect that's possibly why he made the error. No! Ah, and that's a nice. Change up from over, Mark Calio because he's four. played that cross court smash from that position so many times, making an error on the previous one. At that time, choosing to go straight down the line. So this will make Sai Pranith think a little bit more. Is it going yep. cross court or is it going straight?
three, five. Service over six four. It could be a costly mistake. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Good skills from Cypress. Four. Oh, yes. Big push five, into Cyprinitz. Forehand corner. This one. That's what did the damage. Yeah. And Kelly, all very alert to the cross court. Attempt to get out of jail free shot from the Indian player. Is this the turning point? Look at the body language of Mark Calio skipping about the court, wanting to get on with the next rally. This is a big point. They both realise it. It's probably the longest rally of the match so far. Oh. Well, that was brutal. Yeah. Sebi Silva, eight. Yeah, was six. the longest rally. Clearly the longest rally so far. Right. Well, that will have hurt. Yeah, slow walk to Eight, go and six. take a new shuttle. Nine, 
uh, Kalyor's trying to up the pace, pace of movement. That's going wide. Jeremy Silva, seven, nine. Terrible serve again Zorba. from Mark Calio. Ten, seven. Just too loose. And look how Kalio was Zorba running Zorba. to the net to pick up the shuttle. Eight. Now realises that the court will need to be mopped. And I'm convinced this man was eager to just get on with the next rally. Thank you. Yep, runs to pick up the shuttle. So, it's a three-point advantage for Sai Praneeth here in the third and deciding game as the players change ends. And Park Tae Sung, very quick onto court, picks up his player's bag, carries it to the other side of the court for him. Fifty-three minutes into the match. Yeah, what's Park Tae Sang? Can't hear him. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Uh, I think there was something about tempo. Just from the gestures, I couldn't hear what he was saying. Thank you. Eleven, eight. look of real anguish on the face of Mark Calio after that rally. In fact, he had made a mistake. And there's another. 13-8. Without Eight. making his opponent work. And I suspect this is the decisive period of play. Six point advantage for the number 14 seed, Sai Praneeth. Well, 
he just sensed that it's now or never. He's got to start closing down this gap. Mark Calliope. Well, the umpire just having a word and saying, wait for the line judge to make the call before you start celebrating. Can be perceived as trying to influence the line judge. You celebrate before they've made a decision. It's well judged. Feeling the pace of this match now, Kalyo. He looked the more comfortable of the two players in the second game. Now, working extremely hard. exchange. Oh my goodness, he's missed it. Sai Praneeth had forced the short lift. It was a okay, okay. golden opportunity to play 12, a winner. 14. And he hit Ready? the shuttle into the net. Yeah, good umpiring because Sai Praneeth is feeling the pace of this and wanting to take time in between rallies. So two points, the difference. Two points away from the hour mark. Two minutes, I should say, not two points. Oh! Well, this is a great comeback. There's a little spring in the step again with Mark Calio. That was missing just a few minutes ago. straight points and just one point the deficit well Sai Praneeth has been allowed to take an awful 13, long 40. time in between points yep so it's all about 15 Thirty. Yeah. Well, this is far from over. 14, what a good match. Oh dear. Well, I can tell you that Cyprinath is not being terribly well. Fortunately, we didn't see what 14, was happening there. 15. Play. Yes. 
Time is over. 16, 14. Can play with that? Play on. Well, I'm uh, saying you can play on with that shuttle. I think it was probably a, a bit to take more time and recover. This is a very, very important point. Oh, he's missed it. It's just wide. Oh, well, it was called in. It was called in. I saw that as clearly wide. Well, no wonder Mark Kelly has challenged. Here we go. Yeah, clearly wide. Correction out. Good challenge. Service over. Well, how important might 15, that prove to be? 16. Oof, look closer looking at from that yeah. angle. When I saw Play. it in real time, I was convinced it was wide, and in fact, the instant review confirmed that. Can you, can you, get, no, can you give back the, the, the shuttle? It's okay. It's return it. Get ready to play. Yeah. Umpire now alert to the time wasting from Sai Praneeth. Found it in. He's back level, Mark Calio. 16 all. Eight of the last ten points. I'm checking the situation, Mark, so no problem. Back on court, please. Well, Mark Calio saying that the umpire had warned his opponent three times about time wasting. And the umpire saying, I'm monitoring it. Quite right. Yeah. Missed it. of the last 11 points 16. and into the lead at this crucial stage Mark Calio what a rally my oh, goodness me well, that is perfection. The angled shot from Sai Praneeth finding the mark. Oh. Yeah, there's a clear indication that when a player dives, the perspiration that's left on the court surface. Yeah, well, he's already been ill into the kit box at the side of the court of Sai Praneeth. Thank you. I don't know whether that's because he's ill or whether it's been brought on from extreme fatigue of this match. Oh, one game all four. and 17 all. Good net shot. Oh! Brilliant. Oh, what a challenge. Like when it challenges, called in.
here we go. This could be vital. Uh, caught in the line. Oh! Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. And that could be. Service over. 18. Crucial 17. the fact that he's got no. Play. Oh, yes, that was definitely and clearly in. Got no challenges left now, Sai Praneeth. Drifted wide. Careless error from Mark Calio. It's over. 18 oh. That's his favourite shot. That's the one that's been working so well for him throughout the match. From that round the head position, the acute angle cross court smash. Well, that's got to be at least half a dozen outright winners he's made with that particular shot. Two points away from beating the seeded player, Mark Kelly. One point away. Twenty match point eighteen. Two match point opportunities. Quick serve. And he's done it. Coming from 8-14 down in the deciding game to win 21-18. Putting out the number 14 seed, Sai Praneeth Bamidi Party. The bronze medalist from the last World Championships Max, has been defeated Max, in the first round. 21, He's obviously 7, struggling. 21, oh, what a comeback from this man. An hour and eight minutes for the victory. Yeah, he's none too well. I don't think we need to look at that. Poor man is struggling. But what a terrific first round encounter. Coming from a game down 17-21, 21-7, 21-18 in the deciding game in an hour and eight minutes. sheer delight at the victory after all the troubles the heart surgery the comeback and he puts in a wonderful performance like that so mark carlio through to the second round well that's it for the first day of competition here at the 26th staging of the World Championships here in Welva. It all started at 9 o'clock this morning with mixed doubles and Wu Zhuani and Feng Shui Ying coming through in two straight games against the Danes. Then it was women's singles and Kosetskaya, the European uh, silver medalist from three years ago beating uh, the home player Azamendi. Uh, then it was mixed doubles and Chan Ng from Hong Kong. Uh, too good for the home pair. Women's doubles, well there was a bit of an upset here because the higher ranked pair from Germany lost out to the pair from the um, Russian Federation, uh, Kuchina and Morozova. And then it was men's singles and Kevin Corden, the Olympic silver medalist, overcame Joran Kuykel of the Netherlands in two straight in three games, uh, four minutes shy of the hour mark. Then it was women's doubles and the Danes, Bush and Schultz, 
uh, beating the Swedish pair in two close games. Kenta Nishimoto, the Asian Games bronze medalist, uh, was too good for the independent player from Malaysia, Chun Jun Wei. Uh, very convincing in the second game, as you can see. Mixed doubles, uh, the Russian uh, veterans, uh, Dreman and Dimova, uh, came through that one in two straight games. Then we had three games in men's singles, and a big upset because the number 10 seed, Wang Su Wei, was beaten by the left-hander, Zhao Jun Peng, in three games, an hour and nine minutes for that one. Uh, then it was men's doubles, and Ipa and Kia, from uh, Denmark beating uh, the Indian pair of Akhri and Loredi. Then it was men's singles once again and the former world number one, Kidambi Shrikant, uh, put out Pablo Abion, who was competing in his 12th, yes, 12th world championship. I wonder if we'll see the uh, Spanish player again. Uh, but we finish with a thriller. The uh, player from the Netherlands, Mark Callio, coming through beating the bronze medalist from the last World Championship, Sai Pranith, the number 14 seed. So that's it for today. More first round action tomorrow, same time as today, 9am local time. That's 0800 GMT. From all of us here, especially from me, Jill Clark, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.